G'day guys, how's it going? Rightio, so we are looking to get ourselves a camp stove. So we've, we've got our motorbike, we've got our gear, but we want to be able to cook some stuff using a camp stove, not the campfire, a camp stove. So anywhere we can grab this shit out and start cooking. I've got a whole series here. There is a plethora of different ways of doing this, is not all of them. But this is basically the three main things. So you've got wood stove, so using wood to uh, in a stove to burn it. You've got gas, and then you've got liquids. Now what I'm gonna do straight up, now this, it'll most probably be a bit like, um, you know, what tires to use on your thing. Everybody's got their own personal thing. People will come out from the woodwork saying, I've been using the Trangia for 50 years, blah, 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 blah. I just want this to be really, really simple for guys that just haven't, are not used to all this stuff. And what is nowadays the simplest, easiest way to get into cooking while you're out on your motorcycle and camping? Right, so I'm gonna say, the liquids, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I know some of you guys will be just cringing and going, bloody hell, Mark, I'm unsubscribing from your channel. This is the Surveyor. What I'll do is in the, in the description, I'll put a link to um, camping and travel bloody gear. There are reviews and me using this Surveyor. This is a really old one. I love this, it's cool as hell. It sounds like a bloody jet, jet engine going off while you're cooking on it. This is an Esbit, which is similar to the, um, the, the Trangia bloody thing. This is one of the things why I'm saying not liquid. This one runs on uh, shellite, which is bloody this stuff here. Uh, these, the Trangias and that, methylated spirits, or us Aussies call it, calls it metho. Um, but the problem with that is that you've got to carry, and it's something that can leak and get out everywhere and all that kind of shit. This particular, I can't use it anymore because it's broken the seal here and it just leaks. So I don't know if that's because, and I, I haven't used that to, or most probably a couple of trips on a motorcycle, and then that's what happened. And that was, a, that's, I've, I've lost all my stuff, I can't use it. Right, so that's what brings me to gas and your wood. Now, I will say, I want to get this one out of the way as well. The wood ones are great. I think it's more the way that I use the wood burning stoves is when I want to go out and I want to experience having cooking on this. It's not my primary thing to use, purely because you just can't beat butane gas stove systems. So let me get these out of the way. I'm um, pretty sure that bloody, yeah, wood fire things. I've got bloody videos on all that. So let's get them out. So that's it, guys. Butane gas stoves is what you want to start with. And then from that, you can then go off onto whatever tangents and, and whatever that you want. Rightio guys, so I've got all this ready to go. I just want to get the pricing out of the way. So I'm just on Anaconda. This will cost you $129 if you're a club member. If you're not a club member, they've got it for $189.99. So I don't know why you wouldn't be a club member and get it for 100. That's what I bought this for. I bought this for this particular video and I will be giving it away to a crew member. Right, so um, this one here, which is on the Biker Bits bloody shop, so Nay's selling that for, so not, and the gas in that one is not included in that price. And same with these, the gas is not included. So that's $29.95 for that. And this one here, um, I'm not too sure, you might pick it up for 40 bucks or something off eBay or somewhere like that. This one was actually, I think it was given to me, if I can remember rightly. Right, so, huge difference in price. People that follow me know that I'm not a fan of the jet boil, and it's purely, they rub me up the wrong way because of their pricing. It's a brilliant bloody um, setup, especially if you are a person that likes um, the freeze-dried, or whatever, the 
dehydrated uh, meals, which my mate Alistair um, always has. So he has one of these and he's, he's used it for years. And in actual fact, I did a review on this quite a few years ago and I'd borrowed um, his to do it. And it was funny, I was talking to him and we were talking about the jet boil and how you can't sit a bloody um, a fry pan on it because it snuffs it out. And he goes, oh, no, no, because I'd bought it. And he goes, oh, I'm pretty sure the, um, the little attachment comes with it, which I don't have, um, that you can put on it. Anyway, it didn't come with it. And I was checking my video and I went, hang on, no, I borrowed that off him. I bought the attachment to go on it, which costs $26.99 off Anaconda. I'd bought it for the review and then I'd given it to him. So after all this time, he's got it and he just thought that he forgot that I'd given it to him. And it, and it come. So you have to buy an extra thing, which it will show, I'll show you that in a minute. Right, so let's just, I think that's all I had to say in regards to that. So you guys will know I'm gonna be biased on this particular setup purely for the price, the simplicity of it. And the also the what do you call it um you've got lots of options with this whereas this you've got to keep buying shit to make it do other things that's what i reckon anyway okay so let me just get this set up so this one here it's just a fold out little thing this one's really good because it's a really big base whereas this other one's not so all we've got to do is plug that in there like that does that have oh yeah it's got legs I'm sure that's like that and then let me sort eh? boom and away we go so let me, so obviously with this setup, apart as opposed to that one, you have to add some pot or something on it. So I've got a pot here, put some water in it so I don't dry, bloody boil it. Stick that on there, and hey presto, we're looking good. It's nice and stable, you know, I can put a bloody lid on it. Now, if I want to just, I want to just do a cuppa. Can I do that on this one? Yes, I can. I'll just turn that down. This has got really good control. So that's fine, that sits on there. Brilliant. So that's a really good idea. The reason why I don't use this particular one. Oh, oh what smells? Something rubber's smelling, burning rubber. Clearly I don't use this one very often. The reason why I don't use it is, the hell was burning on that? Sorry, it's got a plasticky smell like I was burning some plastic. Um, is the size of it. It's just, it's quite a, it's quite a big bulky thing that I've got to sit in my bags. Now I run, a brew kit bag. So this is if I'm just gonna go for a ride and I'm only looking to make a cup or something when we pull up somewhere, I, I just grab that. And then I've got my cook pack. And that's for when I go camping overnight and I'm gonna be cooking a meal. I just grab this bag and it's got everything I need to do all that. Now, this is my favorite. This is what I run with all the time. So you have a, an adapter. The other one had the adapter in it already, whereas this you buy the adapter separate. Nay sells this stove. You can buy them separately on the website or you can buy them together, as I said, $29.95. All you do is join these two together. Fold your little bloody things out. Flip over, 
Now, as you can most probably see there, it's not a huge, so when you're sticking a pot on it, you know, it's, I mean, this is all right, but it can feel a little bit, um, you know, whatever. I don't have a problem with it. I just, I'm mindful of it. I put that in there like that. That's it, we're good to go. Oh, in actual fact, this one has a clicker on it. So that's your full bore. And then also, this has a really good um, control on it as well. So this easily sits my cup on there to boil a cuppa or chuck a pot on there or same as the other one, you know, the big fry pan sits on there. When I got my stuff, you know, I've got to have it a certain way, but it, it, it all works once you've got stuff in there. I won't dry, dry boil that. Um, and then of course, <coughs> little fry pans. Whee! And that's one of the downfalls to this. You've just, once you've got some stuff in there, you know, you've just got to be wary of where you put it. Right, so that's that one. Whee! Very, it's just simple. That's what I love about that one. Right, so now, the jet boil. So we have a lid. So this is really good that this is all contained. So you've got your lid, you got your gas in there. Pop off our little thing. There's our gas burner. That will go on there. Does a little hiss. It has a stabiliser thing, which I was struggling to get that to sit on there. I don't know whether it's... Oh, you don't really... That, that is very stable. So I don't really think you need that. I suppose maybe if you're in really uneven area. Um, I'd better put a bit of water in this. Right, so on this one we'll have to... Turn that on, so... That's full bore. Man, that's that's a lot of bloody gas coming out. Hence why they... Uh, whoop, oh, see this is... So that's full bore, and now just try... And get this... Whoop! It's, it's, it's touchy. It's, oh, see, that's what I mean. But you can argue, look, you just turn it on full ball. Whoa, shit. Hang on. Don't forget to take the plastic off. I'm actually given this, this is, a, I bought this for this review. Um, and I... <laughs> It's going to be getting given away to a uh, crew member, so I don't want to bloody stuff it. So, I'm um, this sorry. This the jet boil is good. I'm just not used to using it. That goes on there, doesn't it? There you go on there like that. Put your lid on. Oh come on! Ah oh, bullshit. And away we go, all right, and that's it. Boil up your water. Now, the problem that you get, if I take that off, and I stick my, that's of no, you can instantly see the problem. You can't put a pot on there, or a fry pan, you're gonna snuff it out. The same with, if you wanna just do a cuppa, I can't sit it on there. Turn that off. And I also know, because when I looked at the, the video, the attachment that they have for the jet, the jet ball, so you, can, so you can actually put something other than this on there, put that on there. Um, the inner side, you can't use a cup. The cup 
falls in the middle, the, the little feet that goes out, the cup just slips in, in the middle. So it was like, oh my God. Um, that's why I don't like the jet boil. But if you're, if, if you're just gonna do dehydrated stuff or you're gonna get canned food, pour your canned food in there and heat it up that way. You know, if you're not looking to be running a different pot or a pan or just your mug on there, then that's not a pro that's not a problem. Now the other thing that I just found out today, and I'm gonna wait till can I take that off. Jesus. Just crazy. Um, is can I can I run can I run this, the cheaper, the cheaper gas? Because this stuff, don't know if I said the, did I say the price of the gas? The gas, I, that you'll get that for under $2. You used to be able to get it for like a dollar, but you now, most probably dollar fifty two bucks. Yeah, dollar fifty on special, you get a six pack or a four pack or something like that. And that's what it'll cost. The, <coughs> 12 bucks, 220 uh grams or yeah grams of gas in that that'll get you two hours full bore of gas going out of that so that's shitloads couple of meals lots of coffees and you'll still have something left over this one's only i think 110 so it's half the bloody size and you're paying 12 bucks for it that's just this is this is what i don't like about the jet boil system but you can use the jet boil with these and we're just we're going to do it because um, because we can actually I'll take that off but you're not I don't think if you if you're going to get the jet boil you're going to you're going to be wanting to use these because that's how this whole system becomes a really great little package but if you go, oh, I want the jet boil, but I don't want to pay the expensive gas, and you go, I'm going to do this, it defeats the purpose because this doesn't fit, you know, all this kind of like doesn't work together. But let's just do it. So, jet boil, where are you? So, jet boil will just screw straight onto this adapter. Hey, presto. Whack that on there. There's a little knob. Oh, that's actually interesting. So that's not as high running through that system. Yeah, right. Chuck that. Is there a special way to do? And there we go, we're on. Put that on there. So yes, you can use the jet boil with the adapter so that you can use these cheap ones. But like I said, it defeats the purpose. If you can afford to buy a jet boil system, you can afford to spend your money bloody on these gas cylinder things. Turn that off. Right. Oh, so that's it guys, that, that's pretty much. So what I'm saying out of all this is butane gas stove system whether you run with the jet boil known brand lots of people love it or you go the cheap route um, of running with you know one of these little bloody setups so you have the uh, the butane canister adapter little stove like that now not all these types of stoves will work on this. You've got to be careful. This is a Soto um, little bloody lighter. And I love it. I've had it for years. It's brilliant. Now, I know the stoves, Soto has stuff like that. Well, the Soto ones have their own proprietary thing, so it won't work on something like that. So you've just got to be mindful of that when you're looking at... Um, stoves because there's lots of different types of these that you can get interesting today i had someone uh, comment on a video where i did this and they said they bought it they got it and he actually commented saying that he put 
normal uh, lighter fluid in it and it blew the little glass thing in there blew it up so he sent it back and he, he well he got he ended up getting a refund and I went oh that's crazy I'm still using mine years and I love it and I use I fill it up out of that so I actually have I have a little um, adapter and what that does is it gets put onto this screw it onto there Whack that there, and basically, I just that's how I f fill it up. And it's got the little glass thing, so I can see that it gets filled up. Hey presto, and I'm good to go. Anyway, so this whole this whole setup, so. Because I've got the soto, I've got this gas canister, I've got the little bloody uh, refiller thing. It just works good. And this is good for lighting fires because you're not bloody getting, you know, all that kind of bullshit. I have digressed, guys. So, uh, yeah, if you're new into it, get onto the, just the butane gas system. Whichever one you go with, um, you won't go wrong. Some people might say, um, well, a downside to this is if you're in, you know, below zero degrees, these won't operate. They get really cold, and you try and light them, they don't light, or they poop, 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 and fart around, and then they bloody flare and shit. All you got to do, and what I've done, is I just put my hands around it like that, do it for a minute, or stick it under your bloody jacket in there for a little bit hook it up it works brilliantly and once it's going it the heat from it just keeps it going so if you have people go oh you can't you oh, i don't know minus 10 you might have a problem but i don't go camping in minus 10. <laughs> pretty hard to find that around here although we have found yeah shut up right guys hope that uh hope that helped you out remember keep on riding and if you ain't riding keep on keeping on